kyl het nie so skil dis platform up before I start this tutorial again sorry guys man this is a this is a part of a different tutorial um, I did upload the video the previous uh, uh, the video I uploaded uh, um, um, recently it's the it was a full video so the editing I lost this part of the video so I had to do it over again just to show you guys because I promised you in that video I'm gonna show you guys how I um, put some animation to the different doors how they can open but um, yeah let me let me just show you what i'm gonna do what i just cloned all the doors i cloned it like four times i think four or five times so let me just play press play okay and if you don't know what i'm busy with here i showed um you guys if you use copper cube how you can use actions and behaviors on a collider so that you can um do some actions and behaviors man okay Right. My name is uh, Ed Rudy, Rudy Tutorials and I'm in Copper Cube showing you how you can um, add some actions and behaviors to a collider and make that collider equal to the behavior of proxim on proximity so you can break stuff like rocks and stuff okay maybe doors open uh, when you eat doors open and um, a bunch of things so but if you would like to use this system Okay, this is not the setup, this is just the end of, of the video. Um, I'm showing you guys, so I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you want to watch the tutorial video and how to create this uh, um, setup. Okay, I'm in Copper Cube 6.5.1. Uh, this is not the pro version. Um, my name is Rude Rudy Tutorials. I have a bunch of tutorials on Copper Cube. If you want to start off with Copper Cube, make games in Copper Cube. Um, I have some helpful tips for you. Okay. And uh, if there's something else you want to know, I can. I would like. I would gladly help you if you leave a comment in the comment box. But if it's scripting, I promise you it's a no go. I don't script, guys. Okay. So I just use actions and behaviors and stuff. Drag and drop and that is how I uh, create my games um, okay let me just change this door I'm gonna show you I'm gonna go to the door proximity and I'm gonna delete that now I'm gonna just change the position of this door the C note okay just to show you guys you can add different types of uh, behaviors and actions to this to this method you don't necessarily have to do it the way I do it okay like I said you can import your your particle system okay so that it can be a, an explosion or you can use a sprite a sprite explosion transparent sprite explosion animation okay yeah as you can see there I'm quite busy now with this tutorial ending up of this tutorial video on how to use behaviors and actions on a third person character the full video I'll leave a description I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to watch that video okay and please if it's helpful leave a like in that video if it's your first time here subscribe to my channel because I upload I upload a lot of videos about Copper Cube there's some about YouTube also um, there's, a, there's some videos about uh, Unity, Unreal Engine, G Game Guru and all of that st awesome stuff. Okay, so yeah, let me play. There you can see, okay, that's too far. And the other thing I also need to do, there's still a bug on this system I'm creating here. This heat, heat box system. Um, if you walk like against the door, and that cube touches the door then it opens so I need to work out something there I think I need to use variables okay like it only it's only gonna work when you press a certain key then it's gonna work it's like I need to disable that heat box and when I press the key when it's gonna heat that is when the collider is active it is not, you know, don't necessarily need to use a JavaScript for that. Actions and behaviors can do it, you just need to work out the system. I think we need to use the world scene. That is the main scene node on top of your hierarchy. The, at, the, at, the, at the top of the hierarchy, that is your main scene. You will name it also new scene. 
it is a new 3D scene one okay so that is where we need to add behaviors if you want to do that then you don't need you can then you can skip the variables okay so yeah there's gonna be more videos about this tutorial video okay this this is just a walkthrough like i said i'm gonna leave a link in the description down below for you to watch the full tutorial video you don't need to watch this guys this is just the basics that i'm doing here i'm setting up something different when i when i create a different tutorial on this then i know this project is like saved okay so yeah this is just a walkthrough on what i was busy with in the full video of the tutorial I just copied the, the doors and, and I'm just doing my own thing. Okay, I'm gonna work out the bug also after this video so that I can um, present to you a nice project. I'm gonna give this project to you guys. That's why you need to subscribe. I'm gonna upload a short, a short video uh, uh, um, telling you guys, your subscribers and viewers where you, when you can download this project and use it in your games okay you see there there the door closes again because why the cube just touched i made contact with the with the door again for the second time okay as you can see it's even not the right it's cube okay there it opens again it is nice for a tomb tomb raider game if you like in tunnels and stuff and you need to open doors secret door parts and stuff and you even need to break rocks to get through a, a tunnel maybe the tunnel is blocked with the rocks and stuff you need to hit it with uh, so that it disappears or it breaks okay but yeah that's the video guys thanks for watching and i hope you subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here like this video if it was helpful my name is rude rudy tutorials and i create tutorial videos for copper cube users unity users and whatever users i also create my own 3d models so you can go to my home page and you'll find some links to my website over there and I'm, i create music also okay so i'm quite busy guys but i would like you guys just to focus on games for now i will show you also how you can make games sounds as we progress progress in this channel okay thank you very much